This is exactly what we wanted this to is, see. Thank God. Like, I know that we could play the new character, or... Yeah, like, we could do double Pyromithra. We could. But what if we found out what the top players are doing? Yeah, we will do double Pyromithra, don't worry. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, the character came out, so what are we supposed to do? Milk the character? Yes. But imagine, what if we watched somebody else play him? That'd be yeah. pretty crazy. We already did first reactions, uh, elite smash. So naturally, watching other people play it. Yeah. Don't we, worry. Next, we do doubles, and then we never touch the character again. Yep. That's the beauty of Smash. <laughs> See you guys next DLC day. <laughs> then we'll upload five Smash videos. And, oh my god. Yeah. Right off the bat, they start off with the side B. Yeah. I, I I think that's good because it, it it worked. It worked yeah, out for them. It worked. I really do like this character because I. I just kind of like see character in trailer. And I was like, "Ooh, I want to main that," and then like I play. I'm like, "Oh, okay, actually I don't." But then everyone's like, "Alpha, I remember when you said you main." I'm like, "Oh, ah. so I've learned to not make commitments anymore." But I honestly do think I'll main this character. Yeah, they just decided me to side. They died for it, but it was. Sick. But I I respect what that Mr. Ray went for. I think Pyra is honestly the Wi-Fi character. Yeah, like I main Mithra, but I main Pyra in Wi-Fi. Yeah, I feel like honestly having one is each, both during doubles too. Yeah, but but yeah, no. I, I for all my doubles, Pyra, Pyra looks pretty good. Okay. Yeah, but, I, I like I like Pyra. I think how we really mess people up is I play no normal and you play inverted, so people think you're it's a Pyra fucked method. up person for thinking that. Thank you. That's genius. <laughs> Oh my god, yes. Or, or hear me out. I play Mithra, you play Pyra. But, wait. I like either way. We can't both play inverted. No. But, I, okay, we can both play the. Yeah, we, we, yeah no, they can't yeah. tell the part. Yeah. I play yellow Mithra, you play yellow Pyra. Yeah. Because there's also. We can do this both as the same and to, like try to go for an Uber mind game. I don't think that would work. Mm -hmm. I think I just want to confuse people. Yeah. And I think we'll do a good job of that. Also, the girls are not winning today. Yeah. From what I'm learning, if we win, it's because of our skill. Because mm -hmm. uh, these guys are kind of getting kind of getting all I think it's really hard to win with this character. So I think if we won, it's just a testament to our strength and skill. Yeah. And if we lose, whatever. It's CLC day. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it's win-win for us, honestly. My favorite part back when tournaments were active, specifically weeklies, is that week one of weeklies, you never knew what was going to happen. I remember people thought Bayonetta was a low tier in Smash 4, and then someone just comes out of nowhere and goes to game five with the last with the top player. Like in Oklahoma? Or no, just like just the general? Across the country. Oh, yeah. I, I, In retrospect, I look back at like the day ones or like the week one of Bayonetta. Yeah. I don't get what the hell a lot of those people were thinking because no one... Like, he would see all the combos, and it's like, no, no, he's not good. He's Dude, not good. I, I wish they, I held my own, because I saw Bayonetta, and I was like, oh, this is the best character in the game. And then all the top players told me no. And then I said, fine, I guess she's probably, like, a high tier. I, I wish Because I'm way more stubborn now than I was back yeah, then. Yeah, no, now you've learned from that experience, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I would have fought back. Ooh, Pyramithra lost. I will say with Pyramithra, I, these are characters where I need offline to come back before I figure out if they're good or not. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are we not a single? No, we got Byleth in the th or not Byleth in the thumbnail. Pyra uh, in the thumbnail. Yeah, we we got a. Oh wait, what's the new event? Thing? Pokemon. Pokemon event. Ah, oh, there we go. I like the underdog. I like Lucas. Dude, you don't got the new DLC character, bro. Kind of cringe. Let's see, he also has like the second lowest GSP. Yeah. Um, I like the underdog though. We we can cheer for the underdog. Oh, imagine if he gets 3v1. Oh, he is. No, this is big energy of three Sonics online in Brawl, and then you're who gives a shit, not Sonic, and they all just start taunt camping you. Dude, I miss that. I miss being able to taunt in online. I think it's too soft. Yeah. Like, I, I don't get why. I don't get why they took that out. I, I, I get it. It was annoying whenever you start, you're too slow three times per second. I think they're just soft. Yeah, no, I think it was soft. At least they haven't taken out teabagging, I guess. But yeah, no, there's no sense of alliance. I feel like actually no, they're they're they at least like trading off on the Sephiroth a little bit. They're not working together at all. So we we could win this. Wait, it's time. Okay, it's time. So yeah, I think that's hard. Winning time is hard as the one. Yeah. 
I think winning time is just unpredictable because like you could be doing well on your own, but then a pyro just gets a good F smash that killed three people. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's my so mindset was Sephiroth has played his character longer than any of these people have played their characters. Yeah, but since it's time, it doesn't really matter because mm -hmm. I don't know, like stock is very clear whenever you're in the lead. It's so it doesn't funny. matter who gets the kill time. Everything counters matters. huge. That was huge. Oh, wait. Oh, where yeah, he's up oh, big. He actually had a third. Ch oh, he made it. So, wow. Um, ooh. What was I about to say? Uh, we were talking about uh, time battle. But no. I, don't, I don't know. Oh, I think it's funny how the logic reverses, how I can say that, like, oh, this they, they might not win because this is their first day playing their character. But then it's like Sephiroth has no fucking clue what this character does. Yeah. It's like you can really use either side of the arguments depending on what you want to say. Yeah, either way, you can make yourself feel, feel better about losing. Yo, Just, you, know, you don't know the matchup. They don't know the matchup. He's the Grim Reaper. Yeah, he's, he's picking up all the kills. He is uh, destroying all of them. But yeah, yeah if, he just, if he kills a uh, player two right now, in Smash he's won. 4, um, feels like most of the bigger releases have happened in quarantine, I feel now. Yeah. Um, with Smash 4, when like new characters came out, it was no one would blame you if you lost to the day one character or no one would like no one would blame you if you lost to someone's day one cloud but no one wanted to lose to someone's day one cloud yeah people thought cloud was like not good because of his recovery lol really yeah what yeah because cloud got gimped and then they were like well he's like the only character in this game who gets gimped and then you realize oh he's like the strongest character on the stage yeah, wasn't Cloud was just like uncontestedly the best for a while until Bayo dropped, right? Um, is that is that my correct lore? I don't think people realized how good Cloud was until like a little bit after Bayo released. I feel like the meta evolved into Bayo Cloud. But, okay, I can see that. But I feel like Cloud could do like decent against Bayo, right? Just, yeah, yeah, Cloud did well against Bayo. Um, the most important thing was that Cloud was easily the greatest doubles character in Smash history. They banned Double Cloud, right? They banned Double Cloud. Oh my god, Sephiroth lost. Wait, did we actually lose? Oh well, my god. We got god. second, or tied for second. I think that's still an accurate prediction, though. I think Sephiroth choked, let's be honest. Yeah. We, he had such a huge lead the entire time. He was plus three, like, for two minutes at least. Yeah. Yeah, we got 100 points. That's, that's good. Uh... Wow, All right. that's, those are different. Those flags. are different flags. I, I, I hate every. I hate every flag. Harrison, yeah, Har you Harrison's got, my got this, dude. Okay, playing a new character into free for all with two super heavies and Samus. Okay, so I don't think Harrison is winning, but I, I, I support them. I will stand behind Harrison. Scream as he gets. You seconds. have my sword, brother. Yeah, he. I, I will knight him into being a victor, but yeah, I don't know. I wish, I wish that we could choose what types of battles we choose. Like, like I don't know. I, I wish we could be even more specific with what we would get out of spectate mode. But I get that literally no one actually cares except for, uh, except for us probably. Yeah, I think we probably have utilized spectate mode more than anyone else. I, there, there's no way anyone else has used it more. I, I guess the Samus has the right idea. Yeah, just run away, use bombs, mm -hmm. let them fight. And she's doing it so well. Yeah. I think the best thing about Samus in Free For Alls is no one wants to fight against Samus anyways. So you just let Samus do their thing. It just, you'll worry about it later. Yeah, it's, thing. it's a procrastination in its purest form. Yeah, which it's insane that's a Smash character, Skimmick, you know, which is procrastination, but it, it works out kind of. Like they're only at 20%. I just, I am so happy <laughs> to see this character in this video game. Pyramithra? Yes. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Not Samus, not Bowser, not K. Rule. I yeah, you know, I just had I had to make sure that I wasn't gonna set up. Honestly, I think going Mithra on Wi-Fi is the wrong move. And I think in a free for all, especially. Yeah, I think. What Pyra, are you gonna accomplish? Just, just swing. Yeah, you got insane DLC moves. Mithra dude. is designed to overwhelm the character. It's over to her move set is like you're overwhelming your opponent. Yeah, and that's why I think like, dude, offline Mithra is gonna be so sick. I can't wait to watch offline Smash. Yeah, I I wonder if Japan's still like having offlines right now. Because I, I know he said that uh, Sakurai, Sakurai said they 
they're back into like yeah. lockdown a little bit. But I don't have an answer for you. Yeah. If, I wonder. I don't know. They figured it out. I I I, I want to see it though. Seeing any, I just want to see all the Smash games offline, dude. Yeah. I, I do want to see if Minmin's actually the best. Because yeah. if Minmin is the best, that's really funny. What? How? Like, how I feel about Pyramithra is, or like, how I feel about Smash is, I feel like with esports, there's always this like, uh, what should I say? I feel like with es, wow, we, yep, yeah. Yeah, we got our asses. With esports especially, people feel like if I like watching this game, I have to play it. Yeah. And I think it's so weird because, like, people who watch football don't actively play football, you know? Same yeah. Like any other sport. Whereas, like, I don't play Melee, but I will watch Melee like a motherfucker. Yeah. And lately, I've grown out of playing Smash Ultimate, but I, I will love to watch Smash Ultimate gameplay. Yeah. No. So I, I think more people need to just, like, be accepting of that. Not not like be accepting of others, but be accepting of themselves. Yeah. God, we have... I'm betting on the DLC character, but they... We, we have not got a single win yet. No. And they're at 20% win rate today. I'm guessing they haven't won one yet. But this is going to be the game they figure it out. Yeah, I, I believe in them for sure. Dude, these Pyramith remains are getting mashed against the, the worst Wi-Fi characters. Yeah, like, th this is the other side of the coin. You were in Elite Smash Heaven. Like... You only had to deal with, what, three-minute timer? One free-for-all? Yeah, I can't believe someone kept putting that rule set on. Dude, that's crazy that that would happen. <laughs> but it, Pyramithra. Yeah. Pretty good character. I, I, I'm I glad they're, they're fun. Character. I, a lot of the DLC characters, I'm like, uh, okay, this is, like, kind of fun, I guess. But, like... I think a lot of DLC characters are novelty fun. Yeah, that's, novelty's a good word for it. Yeah. Like, good. They want me to give them six dollars to have fun for like three hours or so. Yeah. Not like me, but like the normal consumer. Yeah, the casual. Yeah, because I'm gonna play this game more than your uh, casual probably. Yeah. And I think that's like very fine because yeah, it's cost six dollars. I got a few hours of fun. That's worth it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's that's super cool. Like, they get three hours of fun. That's two dollars per hour. Yeah. That's insane. I rationalize all my purchases like that because it's like. If, if, dude, if I play a $60 game for four hours, I'd call that a worthy investment. Yeah, that's like, what, $15 an hour? Yeah. I think I would like to play more, but, like, I think my ideal game is, like, 10, 10 hours. Yeah. Like, like eight, 8 to 12, maybe. I'm trying, like, what, what, 3D Mario or Mario 3D World? 3D Mario's yeah. perfect length. Yeah, like, uh... I, I think I spent 60 on that. I got like, we played it for like five hours, maybe six. And we're six. probably still going to play more because we haven't done the post game. Oh, true, true. I forgot all about that, honestly. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think that that, like that, that was worth investment. That's like, yeah. like $5 an hour at that point. Or like six. I don't know. I think it's, it. Oh, no. Also, I think Pyra and Mithra are going to be incredible in doubles because one, their moveset, and two, their throws. Their throws, okay. Yeah, look at that back throw angle. Wow. Huh. You know, I think I can see what you're talking about, man. Yeah. I I can't believe the K-Roll can hear us, but uh -huh. you know, that's it's crazy. But yeah. Oh, I so clean. Ike is low-key a phenomenal doubles character because his back throw, it just essentially combos into like tip or chic up smash. Like it's that low. Yeah, I remember uh, I remember watching Loni at uh, Sooner Smashes just always back yeah. throwing with Ike. Ike back throw is really yeah. good in doubles. Like him and Dylan just always team up like that. I love doubles so much. I think the thing I miss the most about like offline is doubles. Yeah. Because like Wi-Fi just can't, definitely can't handle doubles tournaments. Yeah, Wi-Fi is not good for doubles at all. Like online doubles, is just fun because it's online doubles like yeah the, like the oh. oh my god so that's the shield break move yeah i can't believe we didn't have a kill move she, there she would have killed if link wasn't charging at her oh yeah classic i'll i'll never understand the logic of the people wanting to like punish that yeah like just just i don't know make it easier on yourself dude but yeah no online doubles isn't as fun offline doubles Super sick. I love offline doubles. Dude, if you like Ganon up smash next to Mithra, back throw, that's that's dead. That's dead at like 40. Oh, honestly. Yeah, probably just, there's a lot actually. Yeah, I'm just saying like Ganon, that's a smash attack. Yeah, I, I thought. I think about all the moves too that they have to just like keep the person stuck in place for a minute. Like down tilt's probably gonna be pretty good for doubles. 
Like, yeah. If they're DIing away, then yeah, that's free smash attack. Side B, pretty good. Neutral B's gonna keep them in shield at the very least for a while. Yeah. God, you never do that. You never do that. Never, yeah. Look, nine times out of ten, if you have to think, what are they about to do? Just assume down smash. If you're thinking, they're not. That's so true. It's a K rule. But well, we we don't lose any points off of it, I guess. Well, yeah, this is. I'm surprised the people who just picked up this character today are not doing incredibly. Yeah, come on, do, get your gimmicks. But here, I, I'm morbidly curious. Yeah, me I, too. I just want to know. <laughs> Like, it's 4 million GSP. I have a curiosity that has yet to be quenched. Yeah, like, we, we can quit out instantly. I I just want to know. I want to watch. Okay, thank I you. I want to know what's going on over here. The 4 million GSP brawler? They know something that we don't. Oh, shit. I, oh, my controller works for this, too. Oh, I can be voting. Everyone's cheering for that. That was uncontested. People are believing in the me brawler over the... Uh, 4 million instant... Oh, not on my list. No. No, nope. this me looks like the guy's like in his 30s. I think, yeah, I think this is he just got off of nine to five. Doesn't even know a new character's out. Uh, I, if he does, he just it's because he hates anime. He just assumes they're an anime this character. He's a telemarketer. Dude, being a telemarketer, honestly, kind of fun. I believe it. It's really easy, really easy work. You know what we should do? Be telemarketers? Yes, but hear me out. Uh, next merch drop, we just put out, we just ask fans for their numbers and we call them and force them to, but that's no, that's not, a good I, idea. I, I don't think that's a good idea. It's a funny one. Well, okay. So the, the bad part about that, there's a lot of bad parts. Yeah. It. Um, the one that comes to my mind immediately is if we call them, they get our number. No, you use a burner phone. Oh, yeah, I guess yeah. I, I, I've never bought a burner. Oh, Neither have I, but I, 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 you just go to Walmart. Yeah. It, the connotation of burner phone sounds so bad because you just think CSI, you got to do it to it's like crime. It's like SVU when they talk about the dark web. Yeah, it's like it's oh. always the dark web, by the way. Yes. The Internet's never a happy place. I've, I've never gone in it. Oh, nice. Um. OK, so final smash. I really wish there were custom final smashes for me. <laughs> like, you know, it'd be toxic. It'd be dumb, but it'd be really funny. Just the, the mystery of what moves does this one have? I wish... I wish every... There was a mod where... Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. Bro. I wish there was a mod which just, like, your final smash was random. Like, Mario uses Zelda's final smash. Oh, that'd be a sick mod. It'd be so sick. I want to talk to a, a modder to see if that's possible. Like, because you were just, like, do the model swap and it would look really shitty. Yeah, but like the application would still be fine. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like with mods, he uh, like they don't need to look good. They if don't it, look I good. feel like if you're if you've played enough mods, you just understand like how hard they are to do. Yeah, I saw one mod that I really want us to play. Um, it's you play the game normally, but your final smash will activate randomly sometime. Oh, so it, it's not even like if you're down or if you're up. It's just no. Oh it's, wait, it'll activate it on its own. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so you never know when it's going to happen. That's so chaotic sounding. It is. Oh. It can happen in the 3, 2, 1, go. It can happen in the victory screen. It can happen during someone else's final smash. That's awesome. Wait, yeah. No, yeah, that actually sounds like a lot of fun. I saw that, and it sounded so chaotic, and I I need to get that mod set up because it sounds so fun. I, I think we have to ban Zelda from that mode if it's just a... Uh... Um, or we both play Zelda. Oh, that's true, actually. We can just both play Top Gears. I'm, I'm down with that too. We've been everyone else. I want to. That's something I want to have like three people for because I feel like three people, like the more people make it so much more chaotic. Yeah. Get also, a, brawler dominated. 